today we did the thing. So I will take my, well, the Sanyo, a chair to it. Oops. Where's my thing? I do this in Blender too, where it just snaps away from me. So I wonder if it's easier to apply it outside or if I should like apply it here first and then put it on the avatar. Like, cause that looks a lot more scaled up, right? But technically we're not here for this. <laughs> um, I had a question and we're going to answer that today, which was how did this creator decide to do their beanbag squishies? So let's see what the beanbag is all about. Well, just for my eyes, let's make it large and then put it on the avatar. Okay. <clears throat> so, look at all of the physics going on here. Holy monkeys. Okay, so... Oh, and also, so I put that there. And so what our avatar was was good. And then if I refresh the page... So now we're at medium. I think the biggest detractor still kind of exists, but the one thing that I am excited for is seeing this quest version of the prefab on there. So I'm not going to get into it today, but that makes me excited that there are versions of this prefab that are built for the quest, which means that we might actually just have like a medium quest. So it's not going to be fallback worthy necessarily, but just the fact that if my friends just kind of up their allowance, like visual allowance system, just one tick, then maybe I won't have to be as like stingy and strict to go all the way down to like fallback scenario. So anyways, with the quest thing aside, um, let's see how they do their squishies. So there are a lot of things going on here, and that actually kind of makes me a little excited. Um, so we have our fizz bones, but it's only the one. So these are the white squares, right? But they don't have a fizz thing to them. They don't have a fizz bone. Where do they exist? Wow, this is the first time that this is um, actually seeming like magic to me. I don't understand what I'm looking at, which is actually exciting in my, in my scenario because now this is a learning opportunity for me. So I kind of know, I have, a, I have a presumption as to how I would put in squish for an object. And like I said b before, um, that didn't really work out so cleanly, it worked, but it didn't work cleanly. Whereas this one, I really like how it worked, and I would like to know how they did so, but I don't know where these, I don't know where these, um, fizz bones live. Because, like, I know where they are, they're here, you know, they're these joint chains. At least that's my assumption right now, because they're kind of in the same area. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where the fizz um, property, where the fizz bone property lives. Because we have this one, but that's the joint beanbag base, which is here. And then this doesn't really elaborate further. So maybe it's in the... Maybe it's in the pre-programmed VRC Fury prefab itself. This one's actually going to kind of be a learning curve, and that's kind of exciting because maybe I might learn a new method entirely. But in the meantime, um, hey, I've got a really fun thing for my avatars to sit on now. Uh, so I don't just have to be awkwardly kind of hovering in midair. But... Yeah, the other thing that I'm excited for, not just for just to figure out how they achieve 
squishiness in their bean bags and their um, yoga balls. But the other one too is that I want to make my own sci-fi chair or my own chair in general and try to swap it out with either their, their sci-fi chair or the office chair so that it has all the functionalities of the chair but it's just kind of more of this digital super sci-fi chair. I don't know how to describe it right now, but it's like more hologram than it is physical is the idea right now in my head. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of what today's been. It's just uh, a purchase that I didn't think I would make this week, but there it is. And then jumping in here and just kind of clicking around and wow, I am, I am stupid. <laughs> And so this is a VR chat asset pack by Wolfwick, I believe. Um, links will be down below, but I I really like I really like it. I really liked it before I even added it to my avatars, like just in its um, public avatar mode. W U F F W I C K, yeah. All right, I think I have some ideas for this to kind of attempt to add my own flair to it. So, all right. Um, I'm still focusing on the apartment before I start on these kind of things. Is like, this is the next project. But I do have ideas to kind of give it my flair sort of thing towards this. So, um, There we go. Monday.